Hi, welcome to the Cashman Mind Body Show today. We'll be speaking here actually on Rudy's War on Diabetes. I found that medical profession, the community, government, pharmaceutical companies, uh, we are teaching people how to keep the disease. We're not teaching people how to get rid of it. I can do that about three to six weeks. You won't have diabetes type two, type two uh, anymore. That's how quick it is. Uh, so I declared war on it, Rudy's war on diabetes, because the disabilities, the injuries, the, the deaths, even the coronavirus 19 attacks mainly diabetics, cancer attacks mainly diabetics, kidney disease attacks diabetics, that women get rid of the disease quickly, I declare war. My bullets are information. And that's what this show is all about, how to gather the information. But you must step up to bat and want to hear the information. And I've no reason to tell you things unless I mean it. I even have books here. Uh, so it's nice to hear my opinion, but you can read in other books and scientific uh, papers uh, that describe the method. But the hospitals, the government, they're not interested in telling you how to get rid of this disease, which can kill you, disable you, cause you all kind of money, all that can be prevented. Let me hold up this for you, prevent, stop, reverse diabetes. Uh, maybe somehow we can get a copy of this. Let me read it to you, some of the diseases that diabetes causes. Blindness, retinal disease, cataracts, strokes, memory loss, dementia, thyroid disease, Almost all dental disease is because people ate too many sugary products. The bacteria that live in there, they love sugar. You feed them sugar, you're gonna get bad teeth. Uh, you are reasonable about the amount that you eat. Uh, teach your children especially. They'll get very little dental disease. I myself didn't know about it until I was in college. Yeah, when my fraternity brothers came out to me, it's Rudy. Would you brush your teeth? We have uh, girls come on over today. Mm -hmm. That happened to me. And I had had some teeth removed before that time. My parents didn't tell me to brush my teeth. So I don't see how, the, see that, how it could have happened, but it did. Maybe the school could have had a program where they teach every child. It makes sense. makes sense to me. Schools, I would think, should since we can't depend on every parent teaching their child how to be healthy, the schools could be doing it. I interesting. Heart attack strokes, amputations, dislocations, renal failure, impotency, all kind of cancers, um, amputation, dislocations, nerve damage, joint damage, all due to diabetes can be avoided. You can get rid of diabetes about six weeks. You can pre prevent it by eating the, the right stuff. Some of the original proof, I told you I don't come just from what my words are. You can confirm it uh, in other people's books, TV shows. But here's one, Joseph R. Kraft. Joseph R. Kraft. Easy to read. You, you could read that a couple of days. And uh, Joseph Kraft, you won't believe this, was at the University of Illinois, started doing research papers. He's a pathologist, started in 1972. 70, 1972. Then he wrote this book in 2006. And, and he did autopsies on over 1,000 people looked at the bottom line, saw the pathology. He could see what it did to the body. Uh, then he ran blood tests on, with other doctors on, on about 14,000 people, and they gathered the evidence, okay? 
Uh, and then, and he did this by running glucose tolerance tests, fasting blood sugars, and serum insulin. Insulin is a drug that pushes sugar into the cell. So he studied that too, and you know what he found out? That the serum insulin, the one that pushes the sugar into the cell, uh, is elevated 10 to 15 years before the fasting blood sugar is elevated. Mm -hmm. As he says on the title of his book, Diabetes Epidemic, which now, you know, is a pandemic, it's, it's all over the world, all over the world. If they've, they've been properly tested, I think 90% of some of the people have type 2 diabetes, yeah. What's bad about it, it causes all those diseases and others that I mentioned here. Mm -hmm. Most of dementia, they're diabetics. Mm -hmm. Should everyone be tested? Remember I said about the insulin test? Absolutely not. Only those concerned about their future. So if your fasting blood sugar is normal, your glucose tolerance test is normal, and you're overweight, get the serum insulin test. You'll find out odds are you are diabetic, and then something could be done about it. Remember I said you get rid of it in three to six weeks. Mark Hyman has that in his books, so I'm not just coming for one book. You can see Joseph Kraft, K-R-A-F-T, like Kraft Foods, uh, on YouTube too. He's 92 years old, being interviewed uh, by an obesity doctor, uh, and he's saying, listen to this, I'll be looking down upon you for many years before industry, government, medicine will change and test people properly. Well, he was 92 in the interview, and he's been dead for a few years now. So I have a feeling, considering what we're doing is discussing his work, that he's looking down upon us right now. I know he went to heaven because what he taught was just honest, beautiful, truthful, could save a lot of lives. There are a few authors who, like Mark Hyman, who have this in this book now. Matter of fact, Mark Hyman wrote a, few, a paper I think you can print it off the internet still, uh, at least I did for free, how to speak to your doctor. That's what he said. You walk in there, you, I guarantee you, guarantee you your doctor's never read this book. I never found a doctor yet ever read it. But to me, it, it's frankly the Bible of diabetes. It's the bottom line. And he tested people from age three to 90. I think children should be tested for it because we have many children now who have type 2 diabetes where they, many have to take uh, insulin or a medication. Type 1 diabetic is the one uh, they have no insulin. They used to think it's just um, in children, but now we find adults are getting it uh, when the insulin finally uh, it no longer uh, works. Uh, that you make yourself, the pancreas is dead, you must take external insulin that's manufactured by three different companies. Uh, and it turns out that the insulin that the companies make that pushes the sugar into the cell, but now the cell has got the sugar. It didn't accomplish a lot, it has made you the blood sugar look better, but your cells got the sugar. So what do the cells uh, do with it? They can use it up as energy. They can uh, store it as glycogen. We only have a limited amount, 100 grams in the liver, 400 uh, in the muscles. They can do that, and if there's any left over, the fat cells open up and let the sugar uh, in. Uh, so insulin is not solving the problem. Insulin makes the artery stiff. It stimulates growth hormone, which makes cancer cells go. And I can go on and on. So insulin is not necessarily a good thing. But these companies make you think that it does. And we doctors fell for it. Here's your script. And no one's saying, you could get rid of this disease in about three to six weeks. Mark Hyman was saying maybe even some in a week. Because uh, 
if you eat it the right way, your blood sugar will drop quickly. So if you're on a drug, be careful because if you take an insulin and you're eating the right way, your blood sugar may drop too low. So you got to watch that, okay? At least let the patient know or you know yourself that if you take an insulin, you got to be concerned about the sugar dropping. And, and I suggest to diabetics that they get a, a, a Dexcom 6, 6 uh, which is a, a good system uh, where you put this quarter size thing on the arm uh, and, uh, and after an hour or two or whatever you want to, you can, you can t take your phone and hold it onto this little quarter size thing that's on your arm that has a needle so small you don't feel it when they put it in and you can measure your blood sugar anytime. And I think it's a wonderful way. I think every diabetic should have that. Main reason is because, because, because the, the blood sugar may drop, especially if you feel funny, check your blood sugar. Uh, but you can't just go to the pharmacy and buy one of these, you need a prescription. I've tried it. I would think if I was going to pay cash, they'd sell it. No, they won't sell it unless I have a script for the doctor. Then insurance will uh, pick up the cost, you know, uh, uh, part of the time. So remember, all, all these diseases, you wouldn't get them if you get rid of your uh, uh, diabetes, and the cost of the medication can be horrendous. Some people don't have proper insurance. You can spend thousands of dollars, and that could be avoided. Uh, and uh, Medicaid might pay the whole thing. You see the cost of insulin in the news. But, but to me, there's a bit of a scam going on here uh, because I go to the hospitals and I ask them if I could teach how to get rid of your diabetes there, and, and one of them agreed for me to do it. But what makes me think they want people to have the disease because all the people on the cardiac unit, they're diabetics. And that's a lot of money they're making over there. And, and here, I'm a guy trying to get you to get rid of the disease or not get it in the first place. That doesn't seem to interest people uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been through this. I've been to all the hospitals and, and clinics and things, and, and we could get rid of di type 2 diabetes, which is 90% of the cases, very quickly. And we need a major effort at doing it. I do it, TV, radio, here today, written books, handouts. I've tried every which way, and it's working partially because people walk up to me if I go to a restaurant or work at, walk at Prominent Park. People come up to me, look, doc, look all the weight I lost, and my diabetes is gone. I just want to thank you. Uh, I was the other day at Cata Blue with my wife's brother visiting from Chicago. We were sitting there outside. And he counted it, and I, I must say I was happy. It's not about me, but it happened. Twenty-four people walked up to me to thank me because they read this book or saw one of these shows or whatever that I get rid of their diabetes for them. They were saving a lot of money, they were healthy, and they were smiling. That, that happened to me, yeah. And uh, so, I want you to do it. I don't want you to accept type 2 diabetes. I want you, 90% of the time you can get rid of it. Work on it. Get the information. Uh, so you can read my book here. Uh, Mark Hyman's book is a good one. I tell you, one of the best books uh, to read. This, remember, I gather not just my information, but other people's information. Goodbye Pills and Needles by Tom Jelinek, a total rethink of type 2 diabetes in a 90-day cure. I tell you, I highly recommend you, you get this. You can get it at Amazon Library. And, uh, and uh, this, and it tells the same story about insulin and, and metformin 
which invites sugar to join the cells. All these medications, which have, all have some value, some people need them, but you can get rid of them by eating the correct way. And he himself had a problem with diabetes, got rid of it, and he, he gathered the knowledge. You must be willing to step up to the plate and gather the knowledge. And this is not hard to do. This, uh, it, I tell you one additional thing that I think works uh, real g good is to do what's called fasting. You know, that goes back in history thousands of years. But I don't want you to skip a day or a week of those things. Uh, what I would recommend uh, is that you do fasting 16, 8. 16 hours you don't eat, okay? You don't have to do it every day, but five out of seven, you'd be fine. I do that. What happens is, if you don't eat breakfast, lunch together late in the day, your own body does anyway. Every day secretes growth hormone, uh, steroids, and glucagon, the opposite of insulin from the pancreas, secrets them, they keep your blood sugar very even. That's why in the mornings you don't get hungry. I play pickleball, which is pretty vigorous. About an hour and a half in the morning, I ate no breakfast. I feel great. That's because those hormones kept my blood sugar very even. Then I ate, ate um, breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it. And if you happen to eat that one fairly healthy, you know, eat guacamole, good fats. They're good fats, they're bad fats. They, they told us for 50 years that fats were all bad for you. They happened to be wrong. The government did that, pharmaceutical companies did that, medical profession did that. We all did that so they could make some money and keep the people sick. And uh, But slowly the information is getting out. So eat good fats, or guacamole, for example, so, uh, 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 peppers, uh, uh, and uh, some protein, say from eggs or something, uh, uh, and eat again at dinner. You don't have to just eat two meals, but if you do two meals, you won't have diabetes probably in three weeks. Mm -hmm. it, it doubles the time to get rid of it mm -hmm. that quickly. It, it's really a great way, a uh, great way uh, uh, to eat that. Matter of fact, to show you how Dr. Kraft uh, was correct um, in my book, which described the diabetes thing in detail, uh, I wrote, let me read this to you. <laughs> Dr. Joseph Kraft is watching us from above. I've watched Dr. Joseph Kraft's YouTube presentation many times, and I encourage you to do the same. He's being interviewed by Dr. Cummings, the, the obesity doctor, and they are discussing Dr. Kraft's research and scientific papers, which are the basis of a lot of my discussion, which I did today. At that time, Dr. Kraft was 92 years old and said, I'll be looking down on you from high above for a long time before the nation and the world will adopt the necessary changes to win the war on diabetes. I think that's why I <laughs> named my book. I got, got that from him. And, uh, but you can see him uh, on, on uh, 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 YouTube. And, uh, but uh, this Goodbye, Pills and Needles, I think it's a very good book. It, it, it's written for laymen and doctors to read so you can understand it. Uh, and I suppose, which a significant number of diabetics do, uh, you're way overweight. 100 pounds, 200 pounds overweight. Um, here's another great book by Susan Ryan, Beyond Simply Keto, and I explained to you what keto is. What are ketones? They are small mole molecules of fat, small molecules of fat. We have molecules of sugar, okay? If you stop eating sugary products or fast a long time, your blood sugar will drop and, and insulin senses that and the insulin level will drop together to a certain point, not totally to zero, but to a certain point, the fat cells will open up 
and let fat out. The fat goes to the liver and there is metabolized and converted to ketones, small molecules of fat, so full of energy. The brain, incidentally, runs very well on ketones. They used to think only uh, sugar is, provides the energy for ketones. Wrong. Ketones do it. Uh, and then your body and ketones can enter almost every cell in your body, and you use them for energy. They make you more energetic than sugar would do. Mm -hmm. You become very uh, energetic. So you're going into ketone metabolism. You're getting skinnier because the fat is being used up as, as uh, energy. We have also energy in our body in glycogen, 100 milligrams in the liver, 400 milligrams uh, in, in your muscles. Uh, you can use them as, as a re reserve but a limited amount. Fat is stored throughout your body, even in thin people like myself. I don't know if I'm thin or not, but I'm 135 pounds. How much fat is in my body? I feel myself, I don't feel any fat anywhere, belly, nothing. But actually I'm carrying, you won't believe this, about 40,000 calories in fat. Yeah. All of us carry a lot of fat, even if we don't look fat. So it, it's, it's a backup energy. And if you're uh, doing sports activities or running races, uh, one can train themselves to get into fat metabolism uh, in uh, an effective way to become more energetic. And I suspect that's what I'm running on when I play pickleball, uh, because the glycogen is used up after about eight hours, and I'm r running on the fat in my body. Most people don't know that, but it's interesting. Uh, on, uh, so you, now you know what ketones are, because you've been hearing that about uh, lately. What I like about Susan Ryan's book, incidentally, here's a, a picture of her. You can see a picture of Susan Ryan. And uh, she's lost 100 pounds there. She used to be significantly overweight, uh, and she, she learned this information. It, in, the, in the first 30 pages or so, she describes in, gr in great detail uh, how ketones work in the body, what ketones are, um, what does it mean to be ketone adopted, what are the health benefits of ketogenic diet, will my cholesterol go up if I eat a lot of fat, all kind of questions she answers. Uh, uh, and uh, then uh, she, she has in it recipes and snacks and, 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 and describes each one in details, tells you exactly per serving she'll have. Uh, she'll say, uh, here's one, prosciutto arugula pizza. You want pizza, so there is healthy pizza. 542 calories, fat 46 grams, protein 27, carbs 6, fiber 3. So she tells you exactly the food content. You know exactly how many calories you're eating and what type of calories you're eating. And, and, and generally, uh, what I, and, and, and with pictures, wonderful pictures uh, uh, of, of the meal itself, uh, and uh, look at this one, grilled honey mustard pork chops. Huh. Hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> and uh, calories, 535, fat, 32, protein, 51, carbs, 10, fiber, 39. And uh, totally broken down so you know what you ate that day but you're not starving yourself. You're actually eating, uh, and you're getting healthy. You're good by diabetes, okay? And, you, and you're eating food that makes you uh, feel good. And she's full of recipes here. I think this is an excellent way, even if you're not o overweight. Remember, you are what your blood work is. You may say, well, I don't have diabetes. Remember what I said. Look at your blood work. And uh, because the people, 20% of the people who are 
of normal weight are diabetic. Mm. Yeah, the serum insulin is elevated, the blood sugar is uh, elevated. Uh, so keep that in mind. Get your blood work checked. That reminds me, you know, I do these lectures, and you always say, Rudy, uh, what about you, Rudy? What about you? Okay, so I'm 39 for the 47th time. Add them up. <laughs> okay, and here's Quest Diagnostics. I have a copy of my blood work. Uh, what I recommend to you, I practice. I didn't always do this. I, I just, the last 20 years or so, uh, my uh, triglycerides, the fat in my blood, was 58. Mm -hmm. Normal is less than 150. My uh, blood sugar was 89. If you check the blood sugar for three months, your HbA1c, 5.7 over. I would say you're diabetic. Some people would say to 6.4 pre-diabetic, but Dr. Hyman would say you're diabetic. Uh, and uh, it was 5.4, my HbA1c. And uh, my BUN, the kidney test was 17. Uh, my GFR, that's glomerular filtration rate, which as a child would probably be 100, and slowly goes down as we age no matter what we do. And at age 39, for the 47th time, minus 80. Uh, kidney disease is in five stages. In the United States, we generally don't check people's GFR. Gamerol flotation rate, I highly recommend you do that because as it's slowly dropping, at least you would know, and you can stop the progression, sometimes even reverse it. But once you're to stage four, where the number may be uh, 30 or less, um, it's tough to reverse it. You may slow it down, but you would like to know uh, when it's on the path. A uh, huge mistake is people get physicals and they don't measure their GFR. Major mistake. Most of these dialysis centers and transport centers, to me, are fraud. They never warn the patients that the People were on the way down. There's no money to be made between GFR of uh, 80 and 30. There's no money to be made, so, so they don't talk about it. The money to be made at the beginning is made, made, made at the end uh, when you're getting to dialysis, which is a total nuisance, and a renal transplant, and you may not be able to get one, or you, you may die from one. So I want you to get your blood work done to summarize things. I want you maybe read my book, read um, Jelinek's book, or Susan Ryan, if you, uh, all three, uh, and Kraft's book, of course, and look at his YouTube, uh, and you will know diabetes. You have to gather some knowledge, and you must participate. If you, if you don't participate, the disease will get you. You'll have 20 years of disability, and maybe another 20 years before your time versus being disease-free and, and playing pickleball with me when you're 100, or even tap dance like I do uh, regularly. Thank you for listening. I'm on every two weeks for a half hour on this subject. It is so important that I keep on presenting uh, this, but you must join me and participate uh, in hopes of avoiding this disease or stopping it or reversing it. Thanks for listening. I did this because I love you. I care about you. Namaste. See you in two weeks. Bye-bye. <laughs>